getting started with this order from Empire Pizza. It's a Saturday lunch shift, beautiful day outside. Today, while we make some money, I'll be talking about some people who have been really disrespectful to DoorDashers recently. I think we need to talk about it. I think it warrants a response. Hey there, I'm picking up for Lee. As we make our way to the first delivery destination, let's review the first instance of disrespect. This was about a week ago. This actually inspired this video for me. This is one of the biggest sports radio talk shows in the nation. Here's what Colin Cowherd had to say on The Herd. In 2022, every guy thinks they're tough to show hands. Oh, shut up. You work at DoorDash. I was listening to this live and I was like, what? Like, I felt kind of like an unnecessary shot. My first thought was, it's interesting who this is coming from. You know, when I think of toughness or guys that are ready to throw hands, the first guy I think of is Colin Cowherd. Yeah, the first thing I see when I see Colin Cowherd is someone who's rough and tough. You know, he can handle his business. You do not want to get in a rumble with him. He's definitely a, an authority on masculine toughness um no obviously he's not we've made it to our first delivery spot we are heading next to pick up a grubhub order but uh let's keep talking about colin coward i mean i mean colin cowherd the second thing that hit me with his comment was that it's clearly unresearched from what i know and doordash has reported 58% uh, of DoorDashers are women, so that means 42% are still male, but his instant association with a uh, fake tough guy being someone who works for DoorDash, statistically not correct based on Dasher analytics. Now, he also said, you work for DoorDash, and I assume he's talking about DoorDash drivers, those who are delivering food just like I do. Um, we don't actually work for DoorDash. So those working for DoorDash would actually be on the corporate side of things. People who are given a schedule by DoorDash or uh, given a salary by DoorDash, they're, they're not the drivers. And maybe he doesn't know that, but it's a pretty extremely basic part of the DoorDash business structure. So he probably should if he's got any clue of what's going on. And coming from him, there's a bit of hypocrisy in poking fun at people who work for DoorDash that don't actually work for DoorDash. You're talking about Colin Cowherd who does work for someone and clearly doesn't want to. Cowherd works for Fox Sports. Fox Sports decides Cowherd's schedule. Fox Sports decides who Cowherd's co-workers are. Now I think the job he's got is awesome. He's making a ton of money, but he clearly wants something different. He doesn't want to be an employee anymore. He's an employer. On the side, he's got his own podcasting network the volume starting up so he knows what it's like to be on both sides of the work environment and he clearly wants one more than the other so it makes me wonder if there's just a hint of jealousy there as as far as door dashers are their own boss obviously his salary is fantastic but you know you don't have to go throwing shade at door dashers for no reason heading inside for pickup number two Let's check out our second instance of disrespect. This lady did not want a DoorDasher entering her apartment building. In a shocking confrontation, 22-year-old Jordan Gibson was trying to make a Postmates delivery Tuesday night at this Westwood apartment building. But this woman, without a mask, refused to let him as he dialed the renter who ordered the food. Excuse me, Paul, there's a woman like at the door. Uh, my name Hello? is Jordan. I'm working in place. Who is this? Excuse me. Can you back away from me, though? No, I'm not this just, is my building. I'm not going to back I'm just away trying from you. I'm asking you to get out of my building because you don't live here. I, I'm I'm a black man. I'm trying to deliver. My mom I don't care if a, he's a purple mom. man. I'm he working for my mom. So first off, I don't love the very end there when the guy brings up his race. It's very lame to me when people try and force race as a main component of an argument when it so rarely is. But aside from him interpreting her disrespect as being racially motivated, he's right. It's like, come on lady, get out of the way. I'm trying to do a job. DoorDash is becoming more and more popular. People are becoming more and more comfortable with the idea of strangers being able to safely deliver them their food. So this lady comes off as really just out of touch and, and not current with expectations of sharing a 
uh, living space with other people. You know, if you don't want random people approaching your property, uh, maybe go buy a house. You know, we as DoorDashers have a responsibility to complete that delivery just because one person has a problem with it who isn't the paying customer doesn't mean we don't do our job, right? So it also, if you have an issue with this happening at your building, maybe talk to some people you live around. You know, I think you have a lot better chance of coming to a compromise with the customer who is your neighbor than the DoorDash delivery driver who's just doing his job. I think I forgot to mention, we got hidden tipped on our opening DoorDash. Next up, we have another Grubhub delivery, nice and short, great payout. Super happy with this one. And we also have our final instance, or unfortunately, instances of disrespect to DoorDashers. I would argue that potentially the most disrespectful thing you can do to someone is to kill them, to end their life, assassinate them, murder them. I was looking for another like video clip to share with you guys in regards to this. But then I like looked up on YouTube, uh, DoorDash driver killed, and then actually several videos came up. I didn't know this was happening as frequently as it apparently is. Atlanta, New Jersey, Modesto, Baltimore, Detroit. There's been DoorDash killings all over the country. Now the good news for me is I'm doing all this filming as I DoorDash. So if someone decides to shoot me, it's gonna be on camera, you'll get to see it heading into honey baked ham for our pickup. Hey there, I'm picking up a Grubhub for Travis. Grubhub for Travis, thank you so much. Hi. Have a good day. Heading back now to Empire for a DoorDash opportunity. How's it going? Got the pizza and the drinks for you. Yeah. You got it? I've got it. Enjoy. Thank you. Next up is a DoorDash from Subway, but I really did just get hungry delivering that pizza, so I'm gonna take care of myself first. Hi, how are you? Hey there, how's it going? Doing great, we'll make it for you. Today I'll just do the $5 classic combo with a Mountain Dew. Yes sir, what else can I get for you? Some fire sauce would be great. Yes, that hit the spot. This video is not sponsored by Taco Bell. I should probably get back to work. How's it going? I'm picking up a DoorDash for Kathy. It's very awkward everywhere I go to be holding my camera up very clearly selfie recording myself as I pick up these DoorDashes. So help me out, subscribe to the channel. That way this becomes worth it. Don't be disrespectful. I obviously deal with enough of that. Next up, Dunkin' Donuts. Nice and short, simple delivery. Dunkin' Donuts for Jay. For who? For Jay. Accepting this DoorDash because it delivers to my neighborhood, that means we'll call it quits there. Hopefully we can get it done by 1.30. Kiara. Have a good day. There we go, delivery made at 1.29 p.m. I'm already in my neighborhood. That's right at a two hour shift. For anybody who did the math, you know, we made over $27 an hour right there. So people like Cowherd can say what they want about members of the gig economy. It is the future, it is arguably the now. As this shift demonstrated, given the difficulty, the stress level, the commitment level that I have to this job, the pay is very fair when you combine the fact that I have great flexibility, autonomy over my time, and even the ability to turn my work into entertainment form content that I can put on YouTube and potentially monetize. Many jobs, you do not have the legal right to do that. So I hope you're interested in following my journey, becoming a millionaire in the gig economy. I'm proving it over my YouTube videos, and we're having a lot of fun as we do it. I will see you next time on Wealthy.